Yo, what up, what up? It's the kid CJ City. You already know what it is, CJ City TV. So I'm back again, man. Part two. We're gonna talk about this disaster and this Cassidy battle. The rematch, it went down yesterday. The footage came out yesterday. I actually got a chance to watch it. And um, you know, it's like a complete 180 from what you guys heard me talk about the first time, man. You know, um, all I do is keep it real, man. I, I'm not biased towards no MC. I don't got no favoritism towards nobody, man. I'll get up here and I'll tell you one of my favorite battle rappers got 3-0. Like, I don't care about that, man. So um, when I tell you, when I went to the event and I tell you that Cassidy was terrible, Cassidy was whack, you know, Disaster was corny as well, but I felt like Disaster did more to take that. You, you feel me? I wasn't hating whatsoever, man. You know, so this one's like a complete 180, dog. We got you know, disaster, he was looking out of his element almost, man. He was looking, you know, almost like he didn't really know his raps or it was just really weird, man. This dude was all over the place. He was fumbling, you know, usually, you know, disaster, he'd be on a big stage. People would be talking to him. He gets thrown off real easy. This one, small rooms, nothing really to get thrown off. Just keep your focus and rap. He's still fumbling all over the place. He's still sloppy. His freeze aren't really like hitting that hard. You see what I'm saying? So overall, to be honest with you, I'm just going to give it to you straight up. I feel like Cassidy took all three of those rounds, man, to be honest with you. I used an analogy yesterday, and I was kind of saying that, you know, if the Oakland Raiders come out and they beat somebody 12-0 with four field goals, you know, at the end of the day, you can't really hate on, you know, you guys didn't score no touchdowns, you guys didn't do this. At the end of the day, it wasn't impressive, but they still pitched the shutout, they had a shutout, and they won 12-0, man. And that's pretty much what we got with Cassidy, man. I feel like Cassidy was underwhelming. Cassidy did exactly what I thought he was going to do. He was going to come with a bunch of outdated punches, you know. But uh, at the end of the day, guess what? Disaster blew it, and he still lost all three rounds, fam. It, it's crazy, man. So I'm going to go ahead and break it down briefly. First round, Disaster, he comes out. And Disaster, he's coming out. He's cool. Like, he's doing some... some you know, multis and doing some nice patterns or whatever the case is, you know, that's like probably like 75% of the round. It, it seemed okay, like mediocre, like, but, uh, you know, he kind of like start freestyling and start doing some more stuff and he fell off towards the end. You know, Cassidy came back at him and um, I don't know if it was like a freestyle rebuttal or whatever, but I liked his takeoff when he said something about math or whatever the case is. And uh, shout out Cassidy. I respect Cassidy a lot, man, to be honest with you now, because you know, he came to battle, like, in his mind, all the stuff that he's talking, he really believes the stuff that he talks about, man, he really feels like he's the greatest battle rapper, he can beat anybody, no one can outpunch this dude, like, he's ready to battle, and I respect him for that, because if you listen, you know, he completely just watched that first round that he spit at the ether card, he came back with some fresh material, obviously, he didn't write it that night, so, you know, this dude probably really took it old school and had about six rounds prepared for, for disaster or whatever. So, you know, much respect for Cassidy. He came out, he spit a, a completely different round. You know, back-to-back -back punches, he's punching a lot, but these are just so mediocre, man. These punches, we'd hear them in eighth grade or ninth grade high school battles or something like that. Like, he said something, I got plaque on my walls, you got plaque on your teeth, like... He's still spitting bars like that, man. He's got these little mediocre punchlines or whatever, but he's coming with them, though. And, um, you know, both of them underwhelmed, to be honest, but I kind of like Disaster's multis a little bit better. But, you know, Cassidy really had like a little game changer when he did the Disaster impression. You, you see what I'm saying? Crowd was rocking with him, and um, with that alone, I pretty much gave Cassidy that first round. If anybody wants to edge it to Disaster, cool, go ahead, do your thing, but not me. I gave that first round to Cassidy. Second round, I feel like Disaster did a little bit better, and you know, as far as angles go. He wasn't just doing multis and just rhyming words and saying a bunch of nothing. He had angles, he had topics, you know, so he did better as far as that aspect goes. But like, if you could see my reaction when I'm watching the battle, I'm just, just blank faced, just watching. Like, nothing impressive going on at all. You know, Cassidy comes, and he's punching. He's punching, he's punching. Like like I said, it's, it's kind of medi mediocre punches. Nothing crazy, but he's at least delivering the punches. He's coming. He's looking, you know, flawless. He's looking confident. His delivery is on point. Everything. Like, Cassidy, like, he pretty much embodied a battle rapper, but his material wasn't very impressive. He's still 
old school back in the day with it. But um, to be honest, I feel like Cassidy did enough to take that second round as well. And that third round, really nothing much to talk about. Disaster either forgot his rounds. He wanted to freestyle. He was just all over the place, man. Like, he's very sloppy. And it, it just wasn't enough to, to win the round. Cassidy, he pretty much... I don't know, I guess you could say won it by default. He didn't really get to do much. They cut him off kind of early or whatever the case was. So, at the end of the day, it was a clear 3-0 for, for Cassidy. He won all three of these rounds. But what happened here, you know, this is the most important thing of the battle to me. I feel like all that stuff that Cassidy was talking about, he now solidified everything that he was talking about in his mind, you know. So he doesn't feel like, you know, I got to go back and I got to study or I got to step my bars up or nothing like that. He feels like everything he, t everything he talked about has been solidified. I came back. I showed y'all y'all can't mess with me. You know, I took off 12 years and I still beat y'all. You know, I'm the hustler. I'm Cassidy. I'm this and that. And you guys are down here. I wasn't feeling that at all, man. Um, I feel like Disaster blew that, and he really was representing for these battle rappers. This is exactly why nobody wanted to see this battle on paper. You know, we had Disaster, we had uh, um, Cassidy on paper. Nobody wanted to see it. Everybody wanted to see Cassidy have more firm competition. They wanted to see him against Murder Mook. They wanted to see him against Cassidy. They wanted to even see him possibly against somebody like Sue Surf or Goods or somebody that's really going to give him a run for his money because uh, Disaster is honestly a question mark. He's a wild card. In my mind, I didn't think he was going to be a wild card. I thought he was going to come with that you know, them cannabis flows. I thought he was going to come with that first round against DNA. I thought he was going to come with some of them uh, rounds he came with against Paul Rich, you know. But instead, he just came with some all over the place mediocrity. I don't know. It was just it was just a bad look for, for disaster. It's a bad look for all the battle rappers that he represented at that moment. Because now Cassidy is... He doesn't. He didn't get humbled at all. You know, he pretty much went out there, spent spit dated bars, spit a bunch of nonsense, and now you know he could run around and say he's the king of battle rap. And I, I don't think that's right to do that. You feel me? Um, at the end of the day, um, will Cassidy come back? I believe he's gonna come back. I heard he's on a two year two uh battle contract. So hopefully, hopefully. This next time, we could get this dude with some firm competition, man, because that's exactly what we want to see. At the end of the day, can't hate on can't hate on Cassidy, you know. Um, even though I wasn't really feeling much that he did, um, but he still took the, the took the victory, 3-0, man. So that's pretty much what it was. I think the battle released yesterday. So if anybody who if you had tickets or if you ordered a pay per view or whatever, make sure you go go check it out because I'm pretty sure it's online, man. But anyway, just to wrap it up, bring a little bit of closure to all of this. I feel like the battle was underwhelming. I feel like disaster poorly represented it for himself, and he poorly represented you know battle rappers. Period. It was a time for you to take this battle you know, more serious than any other battles prior in your career to really wash Cassidy, man, to really show that these battle rappers are 10 steps ahead of these celebrities that try to come back and battle rap, man. I feel like that was his opportunity to do that. And not to mention, you know, you know, pretty much solidify his legacy, put that final stamp on that. That could have been two legends in the game that he bodied. It could have been Cassidy and Cannabis under his, his belt, on his resume. And he, he totally flopped on that. Um, I feel like he underwhelmed because all this stuff he was talking leading up to the battle, talking about, you know, he heard the Shady Riker cipher and he was about to outdo Eminem. He was about to outdo Crooked Eye. You know, he said that he wrote all of his rounds. You know, he forgot to save it and he wrote 10 times better than that. From the looks of things, it looked like he wrote all of his rounds, didn't save them, so, and he probably wrote some other stuff last minute. Maybe the other stuff he wrote was supposed to be way better than this, but overall, he underwhelmed. Cassidy, I wouldn't say he underwhelmed, really. I guess you could say underwhelmed, but personally, I kind of already expected him to do all of this. So Cassidy came back, pretty much did what he was supposed to do. He he got, you know, the victory, and he, he spit punches and pretty much solidified his spot, sadly, you know, that, you know, he could still do this. But all I got to say to Cassidy, man, is if you come back, bruh, you got to humble yourself. You got to step them bars up all the way up. You know, overall, I feel like this battle was like maybe a 
four out of ten, something like that. Um, if we want to rate celebrities who came back, you feel me? I kind of feel like you know, cannabis was terrible. We all know that. You know, I would say cannabis was a one or two, but with the notepad, you gotta throw him all the way down to the bottom. Joe Budden came back. I feel like Joe Budden was okay. You know, his bars were there, but his aura, his cadence, his confidence, it wasn't there. So one to ten, you know, I kind of rate Joe Budden maybe a five. Joe Budden did like a five. You know, Cassidy came back, and Cassidy, uh, we probably rate Cassidy like as a six or something like that. So, you know, he's kind of proven that these celebrities could kind of come back, which is another thing I don't like. Meek Mills need to stay out. Drake need to stay out. Um, you know, sadly, Jay Mills, I don't think Jay Mills is going to do too well either. Like, these celebrities, I don't think they're, they're built for this, man. You know, maybe like lower tier or lower listers celebrities kind of like you know mickey fax came back and did great i feel like maybe los could come back and do do some damage or something like that i feel like maybe some of these guys but you know cassidy pretty much just busted the door wide open for for buster rhymes and all of them to come get some money or whatever the case is so wasn't really feeling that at all but at the end of the day cassidy did what he's supposed to do 3-0 got the victory got 250k He's out, man. And that's pretty much what it is, man. Make sure you guys go check out the battle. Leave some comments. Tell me what you guys think of the battle, man. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the page as well. CJ City. Peace.